Dr. Green Tom Show. Not an answer. I see you. It's the Dr. Green Thumb Show. I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. We're live on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. Um, joining me at the table is Mr. Goodlight, C-minus. Happy Monday. How you doing, C? Good, sir. How are you? I'm good. Hell yeah. It's Monday. <laughs> the hump. No. It's no. the pre-hump. <laughs> it's the start of it all. The, the, uh, the start of the hump. We're at the beginning phases of the hump and back in the crib with us my man d rod up in here Cheer. Oh, what up, everybody? Thanks for having me back. It's good to be back word up man good to be back man good to have you back on the table papa oh yeah word up up in the tree house we got the dominator bra bra and the boltonizer oh we're bicking it b you know i am wearing the red today oh yeah you're rocking the turquoise <laughs> hey this was given to me by the hopi tribe peoples all right no no sorry about that shout <laughs> to them <laughs> he said sorry about that. Wow. <laughs> this ain't the same kind of boo-boo son this is turquoise it's not blue i like Man. the hat though yeah i know you do <laughs> and i do like the necklace so shout out to those guys yeah, salute and joining us at the table again for the second time, or the third, sorry, uh, the iconic one, <coughs> Eric Big Drum Bobo. He's out of the nest. Eep, mofos, eep. How does it feel to be out of the nest and onto the table, son? You know, it's, it's, it's a free feeling. It's a free feeling. You know what I mean? Uh, I enjoy. I enjoyed the, you know, the nest up there, but... It's cozy. It is cozy. But, you know, it's time to spread the wings a little bit. You have the Treehouse crew to keep you company up there. You know, I just couldn't partake with them, but... Uh, now you can, though. Now I can. Every now, now and then. Can. You know, every now and then. You know, I'm flexible. Word. <laughs> right? Flexible? I'm flexible. All right. Versatile. Agile. Versatile. Agile? Agile. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> we got the Concentrate King up in here, Cali Blaze. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> God. Yo, Rara, what was that, man? <laughs> that sounded like you shot a balloon. That was great. <laughs> like a helium balloon. Yeah, a helium balloon. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Rara. It was that great was timing, amazing. man. Beautiful. <laughs> timing is great. Timing is great, man. Uh, salute to everybody that came out um, to the, the third anniversary for the downtown LA. Dr. Green Thumbs was there for a short time. Uh, but. Salute, but I do want to make this announcement, you know, because I didn't have a scheduled meet and greet there. I mean, I was just showing up for the anniversary, and yet the the, the Funko people came out heavy, heavy. <laughs> now there was collectors that had one or two, but then the resellers that had like the ten a piece. <laughs> Some guy had 12. That was the dude I, I got mad at. Yeah, and then a couple guys went and got back in line and brought in four or five more. So I'm going to tell you what, because of those guys, if I see you guys coming with a box of Funkos, I'm only signing <coughs> one. Yep. Doesn't matter where you find me at, because I know y'all find me. The airports, at the hotels, at the this place, that place, and every other place. One. One. If I see a box of ten, only one's getting signed. All right. So just so you know, because that 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 happened violation. That was that was a little bit much because yeah. it wasn't scheduled. There was no schedule <laughs> for that. And uh, yeah, the resale community, y'all y'all did a. That was a good hustle. I I, I appreciate y'all for that, and I and I thank you for buying them. 
more than anything, you know what I mean? But come on, man. So now, like you heard me on the, the I'm limiting it to 10, right? Because y'all all say that. We watch your show. We heard you say. Now I'm limiting it to one. So you heard it. I know you hear it and you'll spread it around. But there it is. One. All right. Yeah. Colt Bolton's mom was pissed. Word. We were leaving, Doc. We were at, no, seriously. Yep. So I was pulling out of the parking lot. Dr. Green Thumbs, I get right on the road, and my mom goes to me, that just pisses me off. And I look at her like, what are you talking about? She goes, those people taking advantage of Be Real. She was like, I should have been standing there in line and saying, one apiece. She <laughs> uh, would have, too. Huh? Mom was going to regulate. Oh, yeah. Moms will regulate. That is for sure. Mothers regulate. Yep. That's what they're used to doing all the time when they're, you know, raising young bucks. You know what I'm saying? They have no fear. So nope. What you doing, Eric? What did you do today at school, Eric? Man. Oh, she was regulating. And she was like, and to those guys that just put them up online afterwards, right away, she's like, that is horrible. Yo, she they, goes, that's embarrassing. Straight up, there were guys outside. They had the packaging. So what they were doing was... They were taking videos and pictures yep. of where they were getting it signed. Dude had the the UPS stuff right there, so he was taking the picture in front of the thing and then putting it right into the packaging, into the UPS. Oh yeah, some guy came in right with in the with different boxes. He just wanted the plastic sign. He was going to replace the plastic on the other boxes because they they know the get down. They'll tear the box up and then just take the plastic where you signed the little window part and then the attach box, it right? to the other box. Cause they, I mean, they know the get down to it. So, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I, I signed probably at least a hundred fifty of Easy. those yesterday. Easy. Damn. Or oh Saturday. Sorry. God. And he just said, "That's it. That's it." Oh yeah. One. I mean, cause they've been coming out in droves. Yep. They have been coming out in droves, but it's like, you know, there's a time and a place, and I guess that. That meet and greet was not the place. I'll, I'll set up a meet and greet for y'all to come sign them, but <laughs> there's yeah. going to be rules and regulations yep. for it. Because you know, all that show up to sign, like, there could be 20 people, D, right? There might be 20 people, and they'll, they'll all have boxes of 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? All for resale, not collector, because no collector comes with 10 and then, like, five homies with their 10. Yeah. You know, they all knew each other. They were all like this, shouting each other's names out. Hey, Tim, can you help me with this? Yeah, J Jimmy, can you come help me? I'm like, oh, I see what it is. Yeah, that community. That, that. Yes, but it's all good. You know, I know they're just, you know, they're trying to hustle too. So I appreciate that. You know, I respect the hustle, but rules to this shit. Oh, man, and I violated my own rule. When, they, when their hustle affects your hustle, it's got to stop. Yeah, yeah that, well. happened, that happened to me recently with uh, baseball cards. I was at a, uh, at the cards. I was at a meet and greet, and some dude rolled up. Yo, could you, could, you know, you sign a couple of these? This dude had a, a big old stack. I'm like, nah, nah, I can't do like I do a couple. Yeah, yeah. you know, but uh, some fans come up with like, oh yeah, had like a stack of like yeah. 50 cards. I'm like, nah, I do like Too two much. or three, bro. Yeah, I'm like, I'm down to do it for the collectors who come with one or two, maybe three, but like all I, like. That I know they're go all going for resale when they come with ten boxes. Each guy or a chick, like some dude will bring his girlfriend and she'll have <laughs> ten goddamn boxes too. <laughs> like, she's, yeah, okay, give me a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's reluctantly standing there holding him, like oh, Yeah. But she's smiling though. She keeps the smile like, yeah, be be happy. <laughs> you know, he'll, he'll sign them. I yeah. get there like le Pedro's telling me there's a line. Wait, they're waiting for you. I'm like, a line? We didn't set up no <laughs> meet and greet. What What are you talking about? And then I pull up. Boom! I see the boxes. I'm like, <sighs> anxiety. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, it's time to work. Yep. I don't. You know, hey, it is what it you is. You was just planning to just show up. Yeah. Right? I was Showing up, celebrate, show face, and you know, it. because realistically, I had just come from a funeral. I wasn't right. even trying to be around so many people, and that just burned me the hell out even more because, like, it wasn't planned. And, uh, you know, it's hard to, like, go from a funeral to something like that. Yeah. And especially when the person at the funeral really, like, means something to you, you know what I mean? 
Yes, yeah, um, understandable. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was a, that was tough. But like you know, again, I understand. But now, since I know you heard me the first time, I set the limit. Now the limit is one. That's the new limit. That's the new Number limit. Number one. one. Don't come to me with three, four, five. I might do twos, but one. You and, you have somebody like leave have oh, you signed the one and then leave come back with a little like wig i'll pull costume. out the russian on him <laughs> you know what i'll mean? pull out the russian on him <laughs> at time oh it's oh, time he, to get russian man he, he likes that he but enjoys oh. that he actually enjoys that yet <laughs> he sees like 10 yet <laughs> it's like bless you <laughs> did you sneeze right now uh yeah those are the things. Those are the things. But other than that, it was cool, man. A lot of people showed up. It was, uh, you know, having a good time, good vibes. It's all I, good. I really do think that at some anniversary at the, one of the Dr. Green Thumbs, that there should be this like a quick, like 15 minute performance by GTM. Oh, I'm glad you think that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a word. It's great, you think? That's cool. Awesome. That's a great idea. Huh? That's a great oh, idea. Man, yeah, we'll set up the bongos next time. That's freaking genius. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thought so. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah, maybe. We'll see what happens. Maybe like, at LAX. Yeah, one of them. Or San know. Diego. Maybe one of them spots. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Like like a, like a halftime show. Really? All right. How about a quarter time show? <laughs> quarter, quarter time? <laughs> yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah. 12 minutes? Yeah, we do like, what, two songs usually? <laughs> two or three? Okay, that's fine. Do three. Three, sh- three songs. Yeah, there you go. That equals close to 12 to okay. 15 minutes. All right, and there you go. And that'll be it. Bring it. You're asking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought it'd be something like different and cool, you know what I mean? I think the people will like it, but uh, you know, you're not you're not feeling that, you know what I mean? I okay. guess I guess that it, it's it's just that we haven't done it in a long time. No, ah. you know what I mean? We just haven't done it in a long time. It'll be cool to just do it again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Agreed. Do it again. Yeah, I, that, that, there's a next one coming in there. What do you mean? Oh, you thought I was coming with something? I thought you were going to just say next one. No, I was mm. focusing on this whole Dodger thing. Doyers? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're done. <laughs> they Dunzo. Got, they got done down Dunzi. last night. <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey, 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 hey. That's me. Wipe, wipe your tears. That's, wipe your tears. That's I know. <laughs> now, they have a long-standing rivalry with the Padres, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, like forever. And the Padres wiped him yesterday, man. Damn. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of crazy. They couldn't get no offense going, my. Do you know man. why it's such a big upset, though? No. Because the Dodgers <laughs> were the number one team. I know. And the Padres were like 20-something games behind what? them. Yeah. And this is the first time. It's the C- Cinderella effect right here. Wow, way to go. Yeah. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. Yep. And they didn't finish where they needed to be. They got shocked by the Padres, I could tell you. They didn't think they had it in them. Yep. And they more than had it in them. Was it, like, done by bad calls? No. Or just they outplayed them? They outplayed them. Right on. Dodgers couldn't, you know, get the get the runs at the time they needed them. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame. Damn. Yeah, they had a great season, too. They had a great season, yeah. Yeah. They were on their way. Hey, how about this? I'm just checking this out. <laughs> you got some crazy stuff on here today. I almost slipped again. Uh, a horse ride, a horseback rider in Whittier was arrested for DUI. Yeah. <laughs> what well, he was riding a horse? Drunk. Hello. If you want to ride. So <laughs> yeah, you could get a you could get a DUI if you're on if you're drunk on a horse. Yes. That's in the law book. Yeah. Apparently it is, buddy. Wow. Yes, that's the first time I heard that. You can get a DUI behind it, but I mean, <laughs> following vehicle, a brief pursuit. You can get it on a bike, on a bicycle. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can get it on a bicycle. Sure. Yeah. I would imagine yeah. you can vehicle. get it on anything on wheels, like if you're on a skateboard. Yep. Oh, yeah. With a horse. Yeah, and a horse, yeah. 
I mean, it's not that. It's How much that does common, the horse drink? Right? It's not that. Common. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's not common enough. Couldn't hold this leg. Yo, you have know. anything <laughs> on you right now, Calibeth? What you looking for? Oh yeah, of course. I need to take my five so that I'm these folks it. ain't like going crazy over it, which I know they won't. But that's crazy. Yeah. Homeboy's loaded. Poli- <laughs> Police say the horseback rider was galloping through traffic and refusing to pull the horse oh. over. Uh, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like the vehicle, you're still controlling it, right? You're in control. And if you're inebriated, yeah, you're uh, you're breaking the law. Well, you could cause an accident. Yeah, to the drivers and the horse being the vehicle. Yeah, and if if you have anything to do with hurting a horse, bro, oof. Here's the horse. Butternuts. Yeah. Butternuts. <laughs> Butter <laughs> stuff. Butter stuff. <laughs> So them using the spike strips were not an option. No. Spike strips? <laughs> On know. the hooves. <laughs> Those spikes got, go, uh, pretty got, bad, got, got caught up in the hoof and everything like that. Butter stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't be getting on a horse drunk. But then again, maybe, you know, you, you feel like if you're loaded enough, you can get on that horse and ride it. Hey, I don't yeah. care how... Faded I am. I am not one to just like, hey, you know what? Is that a horse? Oh, man. Like, he might, hey, can, can well, I get on? Well, liquid courage, you know, is real. And But the way you're going to feel the next day, not only the hangover, but your nuts because you don't know how to ride a horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a slam in the saddle. Yeah. There's a, yeah. Tec- there's a technique to riding a horse. Yeah. All the nopes. Yeah. Nope. And unless you know it, yeah, you're going to feel it the next day. Your head's going to hurt and your ball's going to Oh, balls are gonna be just slammed. Yeah, even when I drank, <laughs> I was never like, I don't think I would have been like, is that a horse? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna ride this horse right now. Dude, you know what? It would be cool to ride this <laughs> horse. <laughs> It'd be really cool if I got on this horse. Don't get on that horse, see? Come on. on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at see that. Been... <laughs> you didn't get that, Bobo? Wow. <laughs> I did. Yeah. That's all you did. For the horse. Don't fucking lie. <laughs> Oh, that's too. (laughs) (laughs) Not again. (laughs) Oh, Oh, man. (laughs) The sounds one makes when (laughs) inebriated. So, I wonder if you, like, being the person that gets the DUI for riding the horse, do you got to go do the classes? You know, what I mean? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You got to do the classes, but none of the none of the situations that you're being taught in <laughs> in the class I pertain apply. to your act. Yeah, none of them apply. None of them apply. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about the hand signals? You know, turning left, turning right. You know, straight, slow down. Well, yeah, does that that does apply. That, yeah, that would apply. I would think. You yes. think right? That just that's just me. Yeah, that would. That's. One thing that would apply. Has Rope anyone at the light? table ever rode a horse? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I have all the time. I messed up by, by wearing shorts. You gotta wear, oh. you gotta wear jeans, bro. You yeah. gotta, yeah. yeah, you gotta wear jeans. It yeah. like skinned my whole like hair. hair chafed, done it. Chafed, yeah, chafed, chafed was. I was chafed as hell, yeah. man. Yeah, I never done it. It was a crazy story. It was like I was with cowboy, uh, cowboy Cerrone, and like my first time riding a horse. It was like we were doing it for like a music video thing. So like he had me, and I, I had like. Rock a spear, and then and then I had like these big ass boots on, and my feet kept slip, slipping off the the, the stirrups. Yeah, the stirrups. So, <coughs> so one of the scenes we were like, all right, full speed chasing cowboy on a thing, and I got like, <coughs> so I'm like holding on. The boots kept slipping out, so I'm like holding on, squeezing with like for dear life oh, on my legs. Next day I couldn't even walk, bro. Oh, like, oh man, man. <laughs> you were using muscles you didn't know you had, huh? Exactly, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's got to be crazy, especially when your foot slips out the stirrup. You're holding yeah. on for dear life with that clutch, boy. For boy. Dear <laughs> life, that is for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah, and then you had to ride fast, right? Yeah, man. My second day was like full speed on a horse with the spear. I had a spear, so I only had one hand to it. I'm like, man. Oh let's man. Do this. The anxiety in this. that. Yeah. Who no. So they call him cowboy. He's actually a cowboy. Yeah, he's, he's real. He's a real cowboy. Damn. Yeah, you could tell he does that. I mean, there's clips of him doing all kinds of. Oof. Oh yeah, yeah. You don't want to be this guy right here. Wait. 
Oh, oh Lord. Hey, that no, is. No, oh, man. Well, he, he shouldn't have been doing that nope. shit anyway. Yeah, riding a horse is no joke. Horses yeah. are. He got kicked. It's, it's kill wild. You, man. It's wild, bro. It's it a weird you. feeling. Yeah. Yes, sense. They're sensitive to vibe. Big yeah, exactly. Yeah, you got to come in not being an, an asshole. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You got to be very cool. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll be like. If he came correct and has got on him the correct way, everything would have been good. But he tried to jump from the back, <laughs> you know. And he checked him. And he got jacked <laughs> he got, up. He got yeah. horse checks, son. He, here's the big... definition right here of fuck around and find out. Those are two. Oh, yeah. Ones. See? See? Oh, Colton. Oh! oh. That guy was drunk. Hey, look at that. Yep. Just see? to the you face. You tell he was drunk. Bow! Yeah, no, oh, liquid Lord. courage. Liquid yeah. courage. You can see his soul leave his body. Wow! <laughs> hey, that to the face, though. I think everybody knows to watch out behind a horse. Oh, yeah. yeah Not that guy. You should. <laughs> yeah, Never that. stand behind a horse or a donkey ever. No. And slap it in the ass at the same time. Yeah. Look at this guy. No, he's, <laughs> he woke up sober. <laughs> he didn't wake up. <laughs> Damn, I don't think man. he ever got faded again. Oh. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Dude. I would not think of slapping uh, horses uh, behind anywhere, <laughs> right? Anywhere close to that region. No, <laughs> you know, for fear of some shit like that happening. Yeah, Cold yeah. Time. You got to be standing completely on the side of, with a little bit of <laughs> <Back>. distance, because <laughs> that is, hey, that back kick is something else, boy. Yeah, man, respect <laughs> that. Have animal. some horse hoof prints on your face. <laughs> yeah. Fucked up. That's not. Oh, team. Bobo. Hello. Got him. What happened? How you doing? What do you mean? What happened? <laughs> F bomb, baby. And Colton. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever Bobo's doing, bring me one too. What happened? <laughs> what I say? Hello. Uh, you know what you said. What'd you do? You F bomb, son. I did. Yeah, I did. I paid my ten. I. I All right. So what do there. I have to do here? Well, you can do a <laughs> shot, but you can't do a shot. We gonna We'll frig figure it out for you. We'll figure All right. it out. All right. We're going to figure it out. We know we got one on the mark for you. Bolton, you got to take a shot or something or flips. Um, yeah, bring me something. Ooh, look at that. Bring, bring you red. something. <laughs> <laughs> send, send the magic carpet <laughs> over. <laughs> Damn. See, Treehouse crew, they they willingly will do all this stuff. Oh, yeah, they wow. have the station up there. They have it. Yeah. He said bring me something. That was Coltonizer. Bring it. The Coltonizer. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me the thing. <laughs> the country was coltonized. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's coltonized. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was brilliant. <laughs> D-Rod, what's up with that fight coming up, man? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I was supposed to fight. Uh, just yes, now? Yeah, just uh, Saturday, but um, got pushed back another two weeks till November 5th. Versus uh, Neil Magny, he's like the number thirteen ranked guy. Yeah, right now I'm that's gonna 14. be a good one right there. Yeah, been uh, just coming off a, a, a win recently yes. too. Uh, at that what is it, the, the Diaz card? It was a crazy situation though. Uh, yeah, tell us backstage, man. Oh yeah, it all started. <laughs> it all started backstage when uh, we we're all at the press conference, and uh, Kevin Holland and and uh, Kamzat Chamaev. They start getting into it, right? So I guess the word is I didn't really see it because I was on the whole other side, and uh, I guess one of these dudes kicked each other, and then they started like this big ass, brawl. big ass, yeah, big mm. ass brawl backstage. So that's like the reason why only me and Holland came out the first time. But right. while while we were back, we were all up on stage. I guess like the Diaz food coming. That food was real like fifty deep, like a whole big ass bus deep. And plus that <laughs> that that dude, uh, Chamayev had a bunch of foods with him too. So. You know, they had to shut that shit down. And then next day at the weigh-ins, um, I was I was scheduled to fight Holland at, uh, at a catchway at, at 180 because it was a two weeks notice. And we were just like, all right, fuck it. Fuck the whole weight thing. We could just grind and just focus on training. And uh, Chamayev shows up overweight, like like crazy overweight. Yeah. Like, I think it was like, I, I forgot what it was, but Diaz ended up not accepting the fight. so. The whole card got all mixed up, yeah. and then Holland ended up fighting Chamayev. I ended up Tony Ferguson ended up fighting Diaz, and then I ended up fighting uh, Li Jing Liang, which is someone I had I had wanted to fight, but I, I was just like coming off, you know, I was I was expecting to fight someone else, though, yeah. you know. All, all you guys had to flip 
flip and yeah and fight someone you didn't train for pretty much right yeah so that was the situation so uh you know went out there and fucking won a close fight and uh shit it's like so you trained to fight a specific fighter correct like you trained to fight Allen, or you just trained to fight yeah i was i was i was i had trained to like uh find a fight a longer dude right. striking like i expected a strike but just a whole different thing like the dude i ended up fighting was like shorter punches like and it just wow yeah you're, you're you're watching tapes on the individual you're fighting and seeing the tendencies and all that stuff getting used to like seeing that in the ring and then countering that and it's like you're studying for that and then you know it's like yeah it's a whole different test because it's a whole different person now and you didn't get a chance to study that right nah, man that's that's actually the second time where i had an p- opponent switch on 24 hours notice the first time was versus Dwight Grant, <coughs> where my I was scheduled to fight um, Takashi Sato, and then he had like some kind of skin infection, so at the wins he wasn't able to fight. Mm. And then Dwight Grant, right behind me, I had before that I heard that he um, he his fight like wasn't gonna happen and shit. So I'm like, when they told me, I'm like, well that guy doesn't have a fight, so I ended up fighting him, and it was it was crazy. It was a crazy ass fight. So this one in the first round, he almost knocks my ass out, right? He dropped me and then like fucking was was whooping on me for uh uh you know, like a good minute or so and I get up, fucking put his ass down. And um so coming into this fight, I kinda had that in the back of my head, like like hey, the first time the first time I was like, damn, uh I almost got knocked the fuck out. And then this guy had some crazy power, dog. So that's why I was like played a strategic strategic fight and figured it out as the fight went on and shit pulled off a win. Yeah, man, oh, congrats yeah. for that. Oh yeah, I know that's tough. Like coming in and trying to like figure the person out right then and there. I, yeah, I guess that's why you just gotta stay ready. Exactly, dog. So, <clears throat> so they hit me up a week a week and a half after. They're like, yo, you wanna fight? <laughs> you wanna fight again? I'm like, hey, I'm with it. Let's do it. There you go. So. Went and jump right back into it. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that last fight was kind of like preparation for this one. You know, like coming off like a year layoff and and jumping on a two weeks notice. And then now I'm like, all right, cool. I got a little bit more time to work. So I'm expecting to come out more beefs on this fight. Right now, man. Hell yeah. What's the date on it? November 5th. November 5th. Yeah, it's going to be cracking. Right on. Shit, that's what, about three weeks? Three weeks. It's right, right around the corner. Hell yeah. What what are the types of things like that you normally do when you're not training that you try to stay away from when you're training, or are you just always training? I'm always training, bro. Like uh, everything I do, kind of like revolves around like this MMA shit. Like I only take, like the reason why I I was off for like so long because of injuries. I had I had to get like three surgeries on my knuckle, and uh, it was it was just it was just a hard time. So like now I'm back. Like, I even moved back to California. I moved yeah. back to Los Angeles. I was in Vegas uh, training at the UFCPI and uh, Syndicate MMA and just soaking in all the game I could get out of Vegas, and, and I feel like I did that. So I started to come back to Cali and, and tap in with everybody. You know, before before I left last time, I was just more into training, like, myself and my little crew. But now, like, now that I got to experience Vegas and training with all kinds Con- of people from all over the world, now I'm going to tap into all these at all these spots and try to work with you know, everybody I can while I'm out here. And you're staying consistent. Yeah, at all, at yes. always, bro. Cause I, most of my fights in the UFC are are all short notice, short notice calls. Like my first one was on two weeks. Like it's crazy, it's crazy. Like all my fights are are uh, pretty. I only have like two, two or three fights where I actually have a full fight camp. But for the most part, it's always like, yo, you want to fight? It's in like two weeks. Like all right, fuck it. You like you like staying yeah. active. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's the reason. That's the reason why when I was injured, I was the main focus for me was to get back into enough shape so I could be able to take these short notice fights to just be like right there. And then when I get a fight, just fucking pick it up for the next, you know, couple weeks or so, and it, it works out for me. How how many hours a day are you in the gym? Oh man, probably like about. It's like a job for me. Like like just today. Uh, I woke up, <laughs> I fucking hit, hit the UFC gym, did some, got some pad work in, went straight to uh, strength and conditioning, and then came here, and most likely I'm gonna end up hitting the gym after this. I'm just gonna take a drive, hit another gym. So you like three, four sessions a day, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, a lot of hours putting in. Yeah, it is. It's all day. It's like a job. 
But you have to though, like it's your if it's your craft and you know Yeah. You gotta get in that ring, you gotta be or you know, that octagon, you gotta be, you know, yeah, prepared yeah. on all levels. Yeah, and it's it's really up to me to put in the work, you know, 'cause I, I ain't got nobody like telling me like, yo, get up and go go do this shit. It's like, cause I know what it feels like to I'm I'm fighting in the in, in the highest, you know, yeah level of the game, dog, and it's it's crazy. I'm from I'm just you know, a hood food from LA and shit. We're trying to when you think about it, it, yeah, that it, it is the biggest platform. So yeah. like, you want to be ready when they put when they put you on on you know the light on you. Word. Yeah, you know cause at this level, all, everybody's good. Yeah, everybody's solid, like fucking a, a threat, dog. And, and you know, I'm a threat too. So so yeah. you um you're basically always in shape. So like, what's your prep when they give you like a 24 hour notice fight? How do you how do you prepare for that in such a a short amount of time with your opponent you know like how do you how do you are you watching tapes or i mean you don't have much time yeah. you know to prepare for that fight specifically uh, yeah on uh on 24 hours notice is really hard because <laughs> there's not really nothing you could do other than just yeah. watch videos and it's like all right he's gonna do this he's gonna do this so watch out for this now there's no really preparation for it other than mental but if they, if I get a I get a fight like on two weeks notice or something like that, and I feel like all right, I've been working out, or or two or three weeks, whatever, um, the process there is just to like up the training pace, like like run faster or fucking. For me, it's like a lot of wrestling and takedown defense and and like getting back up on my feet because my main strength is is my striking, my boxing, my my. Yeah, and they try to always take you yeah, down. Yeah, so fools are gonna try yeah. to take me down. So when we get these short notice fights is just like pick up the pace on that and start like working you know working a little shit here and there to to just you know be on my toes yeah strikers they they get their ground game tested a lot yeah because, for sure because yeah. especially if the other guy knows he can't strike with you yeah the, they're, they're best bets. Get... yeah once he <laughs> tastes a couple yeah <laughs> he's like oh, i gotta get this yeah. dude to the ground yeah <laughs> even though even other strikers they turn into wrestlers you know after a while you got to make them real uncomfortable and uh you know, that's a plan for this next one. I'll make it real uncomfortable for him because he he had like he like he got like a wrestling style like the clinch and likes to put you on the fence and shit. Mm. And try to like work shit like that. So right now we're just working defense on that. But you know, come fight time, I'm not gonna be like oh I'm scared of what his strengths are. I never like that. I'm always like utilize your strength and and fight my fight. So that's why I don't really like watch mm-hmm. tapes on these fools a lot or 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 no shit like that. Like I leave it to my coaches. Like, are right, you guys having me drill? I want to just go out there because in my mind I'm thinking like I'm fighting the best version of this of this of this person, and shit, right? You know, so that's what I I just try to be at my best, like push myself to the max. That's a good mindset to have, man. Oh, yeah. That way, that way you're always prepared, and you know, take a fight on short notices like that. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, hell yeah. Salute to that, man. It's, it's... That's a tough business yeah, right just there. Stay boy. Ready. Just yeah, staying ready. Stay ready. Yeah, well, well, well I'm trying to get it in, dog. I'm 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 thirty five years old. I know this shit don't last this, yeah. this shit don't last long. So now like I'm it's go time for me. So I just plan to fight, fight, fight. You wanna get that title run in. Yeah. Yeah. Go time. Hell yeah. Bring it. S- salute to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, I wanted to ask you a question. Like, what do you, is do you normally like right before a meal? Are you eating a lot of like proteins, or are you kind of light on eating before you get into the ring to avoid like any kind of like problems? Yeah, I I usually I usually by the time I fight, I'm already like blown up because I'm trying to get like the most nutrients and most water back into my system because bef- before that it's like weigh-ins and that's like kind of like just kind of starving yourself a little bit, you know, that day, yeah. and then cutting weight, you thirsty as hell. You People never know, you never know how much you want and need water to your fucking dehydrated. That's right? why motherfuckers be mad before fights, because yep. they ain't yeah, had a right. chance to eat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't not gonna lie, I get kind of grumpy. I get, that makes sense. I get kind of grumpy hey. when I'm cutting weight, but, you know, <laughs> I just smoke and just fucking do it. Dog. Yeah, that would chill you out. Yeah, yeah like, right. You may be I would, more thirsty. If half these motherfuckers Oof. are hangry before they go into a Angry. fight. Angry. They can't wait for it to finish to go eat a couple of steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. Well, good thing we get a we get 
we get win and then the fight the next day. <coughs> so you can eat so we get like 24 hours to load up on yeah. whatever. What what's, you leave what, nice. what's the most weight you ever gained back after uh, a weigh-in? Like 27 pounds. Damn. What? Oh, my oh yeah. God. Like in one day? Sure. Yeah. Water alone is probably 10 Holy pounds. Yeah. Shit. Just rehydrated, just, re, just rehydrated to the to the max. Yeah, you like, rehydrate. All kinds of feet. And then I just I'd load up on pasta and like carbs and shit. Yeah, carbs. Oh yeah, lots of carbs. Cause Ow. during during the week I'm not eating carbs at all. You know I'm drinking like a shitload of water. Yep. It's weird how it works. They, the there's called a water load. Yep. You st- like you start off like the first like four or five days out. It's like you drink like two gallons of water a day. Damn. And then and then as time goes closer to the the cut like the the water decreases right you know so by the time it's, it's time to cut weight you can't drink water that day but for some reason that shit just works getting your weight down it's that's crazy because because you're full as hell from like drinking so much water so yep. you're not even really hungry yeah you know so i just drink like <sighs> that's yeah. that's the science of it <laughs> yep. like yeah. fill that Ooh, belly with God. water yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna eat nothing that's crazy that, that, like that's the science of it yeah i never knew that before i used to cut weight the hard way i used to like stop drinking like days before and like do like two two three pounds a day like fight week until you know they, they I, I started training at the ufc performance and then they they're the ones that like ha- got the science figured out for all of it so oh, yeah. like fight week they they give me all my food and i just i just eat and do what they take and it's, Follow piece of their regimen. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. They schedule it out, right? They tell you, okay, eat this much in this time, and then so on and so forth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they hook it up. Yeah, that's awesome. Because they want you to be ready. They want nobody, you know. They, like I, your fight night. Yeah. Night yeah. there because of that yeah. weight. It threw off that, the whole car. That's, that's crazy how one fight, Wreck. one dude, you know, yep. and that's... Yeah. So basically, after that fight, though, especially if you win, you're going to go out and you're going to eat all kinds of shit that you haven't been able to eat. <laughs> yeah. Right? How, how, how's, that, how's that dinner? <coughs> Is it, those are good, but by the time, it takes a while because I eat so little now. Like, now I get full fast. Yep. You know, my butt, like my stomach's like shrinking down. So after... It takes a while to like start grubbing. I don't really eat like that to eat a lot. I just like I'm more eat some bomb shit, you know, like steaks and and yep. steak houses Good. and bomb yeah. shit, bro. Um, that's yeah. I mean, what shit? Everybody got a different palate for something. Uh, that. Bobo would be like going to every buffet possible. <laughs> Bring it. Yeah, man. I'm trying <laughs> to handle that. I've been trying to watch it now, but man. <laughs> I just realized how much I was massacring the the buffet. Yeah, <laughs> was killing. Relax. <laughs> killing that buffet. <laughs> oh man! So November fifth, that's that's when uh yeah November goes down. It's going down again. Man, well good luck with that, man. You get you go ahead and get that arm raised. You know what I'm saying? Plan. That's the plan, dog. One hundred. Hell yeah. Putting on for the city, you know. That's right. Somebody's got to, cause you know our Dodgers didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh. So man, it's cold, but you know it's kind of cold, man. You don't let the Dodgers. Uh, no, I'm a Dodger fan. He's but let down. I'm let I'm, down. Uh-huh. It's the best season, and to lose to the Padres, man, come on. Padres, though. Yeah, that was that Are was you? the thing. Yeah, Padres. But, but they haven't had it in a while, right? I would bet that's what I no. said. They, they were hungry. They were the Rocky against Apollo. <laughs> yeah. They were the Rocky against Apollo this Damn. year. Damn. <laughs> Shocked the world. Cold as ice. And it's crazy. Like, and, you know, immediately after they don't make it, they lose in the first round. All right, fire the manager. Fire. And, you know, all the people are like, fire, fire. Oh, like, for the Dodgers? Yeah, yeah. And he's they gonna, always do that. <laughs> but these aren't going to get not, fired. It's not his fault. He was not swinging that bat. Exactly. It's not his fault. <clears throat> they say, fire the manager. That's why I asked. Fire this guy. Fire that guy. That's, That's why I asked, because it was like whenever the Dodgers lose, they always blame the coach, right? That's the first thing they go to. Fire this God man. He didn't do it. You know, he didn't do his job. You know, but when he does do it, 
Oh, he's the greatest. He's, you know, he's this, he's that. Awesome. No, but it's like when the players are hitting the ball when they need to, the pitchers are striking out people, the defense is holding up the way that they need to. It's all a team effort. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can't just immediately say, all right, down. It's the manager. If if the bats are not together, you're getting paid <laughs> millions of dollars to hit that ball. Yeah. And yeah, correct. They spent the money. You spent the money, so you're not hitting the ball, or what are you doing? Oh. Why are you doing? Oh. Yeah, they just couldn't get it together. Oh. You know, in the big in the big moments, they kept you know, and they're a good coming team. up with they're nothing. A good team. They're, they're a know? dope team. They probably get back next year. Yeah. But that was a learning experience. I think they took these dudes lightly. They didn't think that Padres had it in them to keep them down, and they sure did. They sure did. Damn. And it hurt. It did hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I had to it, it was right there I had to use it you did yeah. you just did that like Ali well was right there it was right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> yeah, that's right <laughs> hey look uh, we're gonna be doing these Haunted Hills shows um, starting Friday right like that. oh it's this week it's this, yeah we leave Thursday to Waterloo it, okay it, First shows Friday Hello. in Waterloo, New York. Waterloo. Check the Cypress Hill schedule at cypresshill.com if you want to get down. You're on the East Coast and you want to check <coughs> these shows. There is Waterloo, New York, New York, New York, and Boston, Mass. Uh, right there. That's and then October show. 29th at the Palladium. Wee. Yep. Yep. There it is. Awesome. It's gonna be fun. Get your tickets. It's gonna be fun. Sus boletas. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, Bobo said he <laughs> he's going as Gary Coleman. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Don't fuck him. What, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about, people? Uh, that, that was a bit <laughs> hilarious. With like his security suit on. <clears throat> Man, sorry. <laughs> Gary in the trash can. Oh. Yeah. You should, have, you should have the security be the trash can, the one holding the trash can. <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, I mean, RIP Gary Cole. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. Guys but when I do see him. <laughs> when I see him in heaven. I won't see him in heaven. <laughs> I am going to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> you should just, just that's not that, that's, uh, that's kind of negative man dead <laughs> why, you gonna, down, gonna slap, why you goes <laughs> you can't slap somebody in heaven hey, don't fuck oh, i can't do that no <laughs> oh, trash can i would slap him man did you see that trash can over there it's too late man how do you know he's not in hell he Stop could be a, uh, hey I, you know i can't you make know any assumptions <laughs> you know you're 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 right you're right Blaze. hey he could be over at the other spot oh man <laughs> yo where's he <laughs> at first of all the other spot where he at though the other spot yet though if these two spots exist i trust me the other spot popping, <laughs> popping, <laughs> popping, popping. You, yeah. i mean you ain't wrong <laughs> it's man. gonna be popping son <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that now. That's ice cold, Eric Bobo. <laughs> Damn. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Oh, God. <laughs> that was good work right there, Chris. That was good work. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are on fire. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He'd probably be a DJ down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You never know him. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is totally wrong. Uh, it's totally wrong, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my hey. I mean, it God. sucks. It sucks. Like every time that I just see, they could be talking like something great that he did, and I just have one memory. You just have one. That one memory is when he, you know, he slapped me up. <laughs> 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 you know, how am I supposed to? How am I going? How am I supposed to celebrate hey, any of his achievements? <laughs> God. Damn. Like, Agreed. Not, like it none just, of you. It just sounds so crazy every time you say it. <laughs> Slapped you up. I mean, I was just playing with the guy. <laughs> I'm playing with the guy. You know, uh, all right, once I was going to say, okay. But then he did it twice. Like, yo, like again. Like I didn't I, like I didn't get the first time. <laughs> like you didn't get the message. <laughs> like I didn't get the message. Like, 
What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, guy? What the fuck? <laughs> I picked him up and I was headed toward the trash can. Because <laughs> he was significantly smaller. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this this had an effect at the school because I remember at the reunion, this was one of the top stories that came. Like, do you remember when Eric was gonna throw Gary Coleman in the trash? <laughs> I'm just picturing that in my head yeah. right now. Man. That was Bully Bobo days. Man. That's pretty yeah, that, brilliant. If there was ever a movie on my life, that, that would be in there. That'd be a funny scene if it was. Man, the look on my face like, did this did this little fool just slap me right now? <laughs> they, they went to school together. <laughs> Him and Gary Coleman went to school together. Yeah, we had a little incident. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> obviously. A little incident. A little, a little incident. <laughs> oh, a okay. four foot eight incident. <laughs> Small. Small little incident. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I had to bend down to his level to just like <laughs> Oh, man. Over the line. Motherfucker. For, for hey, come, you. come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. What am I going to do? I'm like, yeah, all right, well, what's up, you know? You're down there. I'm up here, you know? <laughs> 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 and, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then the motherfucker came out, and he just came from fucking Mississippi. This slap from this I'm little back. fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what did the five fingers say to the face? Face. Yeah, you see that face <laughs> that he made, that Charlie Murphy made? Yeah. <laughs> that was me. I'm like, this... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Did you see this, right? Then he doubled down. Then he did it again. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go fuck him. <laughs> yeah, Bobo. He's doing this on purpose now. <laughs> this is no joke. <laughs> yeah. The, the nerve. Oh, was... The nerve of that Man. little. <laughs> the other yeah. shit, like when he tried to like keep his weight down so I don't lift his ass up. You know, and he was trying to look at me like that. Give me that, like, that you ain't Ar live Arnold, Arnold different strokes look. <laughs> Motherfucker, you going into the fucking trash. <laughs> I lifted his ass up anyway. But that ain't, that's not going to help you now. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's not going to help you now. There's <laughs> uh, oh. a lot of, a lot of, wow. It's a lot of frustration there, Popo. <laughs> I can't imagine him trying to just, like, Hold himself to the ground like just you know, <laughs> you just. Oh man, he give you know those kids you know when they try to like. like this. <laughs> I'm standing my ground. Motherfucker, I'm lifting your ass up. You going to the trash? Was he older than you? Um, he was. We were born I think the same year, but I think he was some months older than me. Mm. So, man. So I think in heaven you should be able to trash can him. That's just me, though. If he's there. <laughs> if he's there. See, no, that's going to be going down in hell. That's what you don't know. Do. Yes. So then Bobo trash won't be there. People, that's going down there, bro. That's where the party's at. Nah, because he could be cool with it. <laughs> You'll see. Watch. You want to trash can someone? Let's <laughs> make no assumptions. <laughs> Little GC could be cool with it, dude. Like, he'd be, like, up in heaven. And he's like, yeah, good. he throws him in the trash. You can't like, oh, trash can a midget in heaven. I'm Gosh, telling you right now. I'm going to have to fucking pass the wire to somebody down there. You're going to have to pass the wire to somebody down there. Damn, Don Bobo. I'm going to fucking pass the wire so this, this it can be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is going to be a little hard. If you see Gary Coleman down there, you know, uh, Gary Coleman down there? Oh, he is? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I know some people down there. <laughs> Dude, you might be able to get a pass yeah. too for like you know like a, a like a day. You just go down there and find him. Then just What's that? oh, you need to take care of some business here. <laughs> I can get that pass, right? Yeah, real quick. Oh yeah, damn <laughs> man! Imagine just getting the green light. You know, you can go and get the green light for people, and you know, and the grudge nothing. continues. <laughs> 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 oh, I'll find him. I don't even look at the reruns. <laughs> yeah. This party is officially yeah, over. Yeah, you can't watch it, can you? Uh, I wouldn't either. Damn, you really. Damn. Dude. That's crazy. I mean, could could you? Could no. you? Like, if it had happened to you? Mm -mm. Open oh. hand, little kid, <laughs> wanna be man slapped. <laughs> <laughs> 
best. That's that's traumatizing. It shit. is. Yeah. So so fuck that show twice. <laughs> not 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 on different occasions. At the same like, time. Within yeah, within, <laughs> within moments of each other. <laughs> Mm. I think that's better than two different occasions. I mean, I mean, that's a really <laughs> none that's of them a good situation. I, I don't think in the second occasion you would let it happen. Yeah. It's just he was probably <laughs> shocked that the first one came, and while he was processing that, the next the other one came. That was exactly <laughs> it. Stunned. He caught me in the middle of the process. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. Gotta process. be ready. Like yes. what the fuck just happened? <laughs> he was, co- he was and computing. now pow! <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was all computing, dude. It was all like. Man, and then it went through the <laughs> computation really quick. I said, "Oh, this motherfucker just slapped me!" Just I'll wow. tell you what. Listen, getting punched in the face and getting slapped on the face in the face are two different things. Like the punch will piss you <coughs> off. If it dazes you, okay, you gotta shake it off and all that. But the slap, if 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 they don't use this and it's just a slap, right? It'll wake you up. <laughs> and it's something <laughs> fucking else. It'll shock you. Like, like, yeah. did yeah. this motherfucker just slap me? Yeah. yeah. Like, even if it's a chick that slapped you, you know what I mean? You'd be like, this Hello. bitch just slapped. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's it's a yeah. thing that just like it. It's a different sort of button. Yeah. Bad button. Oh yeah. man, very it is bad. all it's bad. Very bad. bad. It's bad. Oh, yeah. my God. I'd rather get punched. Yeah, that's I'd rather get punched 100. in the face. It's a, it's an ultimate insult. Correct. Yeah. Punch me first. Definitely. Unless you got a chick that's into rough things that yeah. she just slapped the shit out of you. Man. Yeah, but she's into that. I'm not. Don't slap me. I'm thinking about it, you know. If you're into it, I'll slap you. Don't slap me. He probably slapped either his mom's or his pops on some sort of occasion. And since he was bringing in the money. They had to go ahead and grin and, and, and bear it. So he had, he had done this before. <laughs> he had, practiced, Harry Coleman he had done this face. tactic before. He's done this to others. He's done this to others. You he, weren't the only victim. He done this on the set. He's done that to a few people. Was, his parents especially. Like mm. his little small hands just hitting his you. Little, yeah, so he had that locked in. Like he already knew. Mm. I was just another victim. <laughs> just another victim, kid. I was just another victim because it's a House of Pain song right there. <laughs> that he just said, "Come here," and when he said that wasn't funny, and then he slapped me after he <laughs> said that, <laughs> and I'm like thinking, like, what the fuck just happened here? And there. then he said that wasn't funny, and he slapped me again. I'm like, oh, 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 oh this motherfucker has just repeated everything. Yo. Like, this is take two, motherfucker. That's amazing. What a story I have. <laughs> Mr. Drummond. <laughs> yeah. That's a story right there, Bobo. I don't got one like that. <laughs> Not with Gary Coleman. <laughs> Not with Gary Coleman. You know. Dude, you just felt his little hands just slap you real like forcefully. A lot of a lot of things went through my head at that moment. I said, "This motherfucker, the different strokes." You know, yeah, I yeah, a lot of things just went in my head. Through the you know, wild. Like, yeah, yeah, different strokes across your face. Yeah, I'm like holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> You start hearing Two different comments, strokes. <laughs> a right stroke and a left stroke. Yeah. <laughs> I got that I got that hum on the second one. <laughs> 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 that's, that's the shit that woke my ass up. Like, oh, this motherfucker right Ooh. here done slapped me done once but twice. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to make a point. Seems like he did. Oh, he yeah. did. He sure did. <laughs> burn that. Burn that shit into your soul, baby. Well done. Man. You got. You got to exercise this. We'll get you some sage. Yeah, we're still talking about <laughs> it forty years later. Yeah, we yeah. got to let that shit go. <laughs> He's gone. Yeah, that left a mark. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, you think so, man. Yeah, yeah, you did, man. Yeah, that's mark. <laughs> you fucking did. Wow. <laughs> that was, and that wasn't right. No. No, I wasn't right. Wasn't right, man. Wasn't yeah. right, man. I'm just playing with the kid, man. Like, <laughs> do, man. <laughs> what did you tell him that set him off? Yeah. Man, I didn't tell him anything, man. I just <laughs> pretended. I just pretended that I was gonna spit water in, on him, uh-huh. <laughs> and I didn't. You know what I mean? I did. The, the point is that I didn't. 
Uh, you just pretended. You know what, though? That's the same as doing <laughs> like this. Like making it was, flint, right? Yeah. 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 It was provocation. Somebody. Yeah. It was you provoked. So, so you think that I provoked him? Yep. What? He wanted yep. to smoke. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. Bullied, yeah. Bully yeah. Bobo. Yeah. Bobo. Exactly. <laughs> I got to go with Coleman on this one, yeah. Bobo. I got to tell you. Oh, That's the, oh, the table flip. I, never, I, never I gotta thought go about Coleman. Now. I never yeah. thought about that. I provoked him. You definitely did. Think of it. You said, I was going to spit. That's like me saying, I was gonna punch someone well when you do this and somebody punches you you deserved it and even he though let, you didn't punch him and flex, he, you deserved the punch 100 you know? he let you know how he felt <laughs> off top too he, he like, let you know how he felt the yeah punch he, did. Yes, he, he let you know how he felt twice twice <laughs> it's not funny it was not funny <laughs> yeah. and it was not funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> how that's how he felt so, oh, so, man. so this was my fault <laughs> i didn't say it was your fault i really didn't think Poor about it but i think term. maybe he got provoked but he because he caught you yeah. like making fun yeah oh so since i pretended to do this two times that's what warranted the two slaps could Definitely. I, I mean i don't know oh it doesn't i can't yeah, presume yeah, to yeah, know what quite, gary yeah. was thinking but because yeah. the second time is when he just like stopped the play and he just says hey come here <laughs> <laughs> like you stop the fucking game in Parker. Progress. What the fuck is that? fucking around. Fucking killing me, right? Yeah, I don't think you're the victim, but nope, no, not at all. No, no. no. you're not the victim. victim at all. You gotta oh, agree. Shit. And he yeah, said he did no. it twice. That's why you got two slaps. <laughs> Once for each. Number two. Because I remember the first one when I tried to do it, and he looked at me. His eyes got real wide, like he thought he was gonna get splashed, but he didn't. You know. Oh man. So then I said, "Oh, no problem." But then when I did it again, you know, that that wide eyed, that wide eyed was like, you know, turned into a big old frown. A and he scowl. Said, then he said, "Come in." <laughs> <laughs> you fucking come here. Come down here. Come down here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Part and it. you did. Yeah, he went down. I did. I did. I said, "What man? What was that? What man? Man, what happened?" <laughs> like what happened, bro? <laughs> you know, everything was going good. You know what I mean? What you know? What happened? And he said, "That's not funny." And before I could even say anything, like, because I was in such shock, <laughs> he said it again. That's not funny. <laughs> so he equaled you out. He, that's, you know, now, he now, you out. now, these years later, you guys have maybe <laughs> made me realize that maybe that was the reason why I got the. Cause I never understand the two slaps. <laughs> after all this, after all these years, I never understood. Wow. Why he did it to me twice? Oh. But I think today this clear. Today, yeah. today was the epiphany. You had the breakthrough. Mm, you had a breakthrough. So. See, we do that at the Dr. Green Touch show. <laughs> we have breakthroughs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One hundred. Right on, Bobo. That's right, Eric Bobo. Progress, progress. <laughs> We're always yes. making <coughs> progress. Yes. Right. That shows growth, man. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Recognizing well that now we could rest in peace, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. Or still, I <laughs> know. <laughs> Let it simmer. I don't know, man. Is you got to think one, on it now. You know, yeah, one thing at a one time. Thing at a time. <laughs> one thing at a time. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is really. This is enough for oh. me to have to like, deal with right now. All right. Well, you know, we gave you some perspective. That's all. Yes. That, helped, that helped out. Thank Whatever you, you do with it is on you. All right. I keep you updated. We're here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll need to know. <laughs> and now it's time. All right, we got some submissions in today. First one's up of the day. We got a little Texas bonfire at a school. Oh, man. 
Oh, oh. idiots. Yeah. Bah, I saw that. Whoa. Uh, hey, he oh, walked out. He walked that off like a boss. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he did. You know it was loud too. He definitely did. I mean, he is like all the gases. Someone could have easily lost their life right there, man. Look how people were close to that. Wow. Mm. Like, <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see Arnold with his thumb. Oh, and he casually walks away. He did. Yeah. He did thug life. It, yeah. yeah. That was like a scene in a movie. He's yeah. just slow walking. He did. An explosion. <laughs> this is you would think he would man. light it, like, start a little trail to it. How about shooting an arrow like the Vikings? <laughs> That'd be cool. Bow. It's horrible. Oh. God! Man, <laughs> damn. Mm. To dumb ideas. You know the neighbors were not happy with that. <laughs> no. that was, You're right, it's Texas. They're like, yeah. Kids' parents that were around <laughs> watching their kids around that thing weren't so happy neither, I would imagine. Kaboom. Yeah. Little yes. Timmy was running too close <laughs> to the fire. Little Timmy. <laughs> Timmy! Timmy! <laughs> Fucking little Timmy. <laughs> he be getting in trouble, man. Oh man! <laughs> next, and next up in here we got Smokestack <coughs> Max saying, "I heard they're doing a casting call for Half Baked Two. Do you guys know if this is true?" Mm, I, I do not. not. Mm, I doubt it. Uh, I can't know because you know how what's his name always talks bad about that movie. Dave Chappelle's not a fan of it, so I doubt it. Well, they'll probably do like they did uh, How High Two, yeah. oh, cast different people, true. which was kind of boof, but yeah. you know they'll do what they got to do. I mean, that movie's kind of like a little weed coke classic. Yeah. I mean, and he wrote that shit, right? Right. Yeah. But doesn't the studio own it? Probably. See, that's the thing. It's probably like the particulars. I mean, yeah. not necessarily that he doesn't like it's the not story. the body of work. It's right. all the, all that the shit, other stuff. That movie is funny. That movie is funny. It is. Hell yeah. yeah. Classic. I watched it recently, too. Yeah, yeah man. It's, it's, get old. it's never not funny, yeah. <clears throat> and he hated it. Because <laughs> he, you know what? Why he hated it? Because they changed so much of it. Yeah, he had written it completely different, and they chopped. It was it to probably that. way funny. Oh yeah, too. that's why <laughs> he had some edgy stuff that he wanted in there, and then <laughs> they, they said absolutely not. So okay. that's why he was pissed that this is what it was reduced to. So we love it, but what it could have been, what it could have been right. for him. Exactly. Oh, yeah. dude, that's I'm I, sure it would have been. But cool. I could tell you, a lot of fans love it as is. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're some. Of Definitely, it was a great I, movie. That's why I quoted butter nuts. Of course, butter nuts. Butter stuff. Yeah, butter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that movie. That horse is a diabetic. Uh, custodian <laughs> dick. <laughs> when he says that. Yeah, there's a lot of good lines yeah. in the movie. Yeah. I want to talk to Samson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word. I was just talking to the dude from Jungle Boys, Nate. I just called him Nasty Nate today, and he started laughing. I was like, Nasty Nate. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> He's like, and the squirrel master. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor says I need the back of me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got Smokestack Mac showing off some Halloween decorations. Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. People are going off on their decorations uh, these days, man. It's actually the Michelin man. I said Ghostbusters. <laughs> well, it's. I know. Who are you going to yeah, call? The Michelin man. Of, yeah. Well, yeah, it's the Stay Puff, Puff. guy. Oh, yeah, Stay Puff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there they are. There's fucking Ghostbusters right there. And you see oh, the gargoyles? That's pretty front. good at night. That probably yep. looks awesome. With some up lighting oh, yeah, mm. onto it. Who are you going to call? You got your decorations out, B? Nope. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Basically, it's like, do not Same, come up exactly. my driveway. Get the fuck nope. out of here. For no. nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> I have nope. no candy for you. <laughs> None at all. No fucking way. I'm going to put a uh, sign that says free fentanyl. Wow! Just no. Oh, that's that's bad. Yeah. All right, dude, that's a little... They know you don't know. like kids. I mean, okay. That would mean you don't. Yeah, like but I'll just kids. have crackheads in my door. Oh my god! You, you said free fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They'll be holding you <laughs> oh, to it. Word up. <laughs> They'll be holding you to that shit right Where there. Where the fuck is it, son? Hey man. <laughs> yeah. You said you, said you had free fentanyl. That's right. I want here, it, man. <laughs> dude, I want it. You said. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want it. Thanks. And next up in here, we got Andre saying, wanted to show you guys my view of this morning at the golf course. Nice. Hot air balloons. That's nice. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. 
And he's also saying, can I get a shout out to my girlfriend, Kimberly, for surprising me with a Funko? Salute, Kimberly. Happy birthday. Salute to you. Yeah, Kimberly. What up, Kimberly? Right. Salute, salute. Would you guys go on a hot air balloon? No. 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 What? That sounds fun. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Yeah, if it all goes bad. I don't even think there's a backup. <laughs> what, pair There is not a backup. Just there's those pair. parachutes. <sighs> no. I don't, I don't think they've figured out a rescue for that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We got M. Kush G up in here saying these bomb ass burgers are from Grill Em All. Oh, yes. Yeah. That looks great. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Grill Em All. They make amazing burgers. Yeah, they do. Is that yeah. the one in Alhambra? Yep. yep. That looks Fire. good. That does oh, look yeah. great. I only fuck with onions when they're grilled like that. I saw them little grilled onions on the bottom. They look good like that. Dude. Yep. Yeah. Dude, they down just, like that. True this. They just cheese. did this crazy Aussie burger. This Aussie Osborne, like official Aussie Osborne burger. Was it, had it this, bat meat? I know. <laughs> 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 it had this black gr- it had this black bun and uh it was like, yeah, it was just totally like this dark ass burger in for Ozzy Osbourne. I know. Nice. Salute to Ozzy Oz- Osbourne. Yeah. That's he, one of my favorites growing up. 100. No, for real. Like about Black Sabbath. Oh, but... well, yeah. I Boy, I heard his solo stuff first oh. as a kid, right? Because that's what I was introduced to, and then I went back and heard Black Sabbath. So it was Ozzy it was, first. Yeah. Yeah. Same. And, and then I was like, oh. <coughs> you know, it's like when a kid finds a back catalog of an artist, you know what I mean? You didn't know, like, oh, damn. And that just, yeah. So I've been a fan of Ozzy Osbourne for a very long time. So, you know, it's always. They would come around, like, once a year, like, solid. I remember, like, yeah, seeing them in the. The advertisements and the calendar. Who, Ozzy? Yeah, Ozzy, um, you know, <clears throat> Journey, all them fools, like when they were hot. You know? Mm-hmm. I remember yep. that, that. Yeah. Here's the oh, Ozzy burger so... C-minus was talking about. Look at that. That's a black bun, baby. Mm. I, Told I'm, you, man. I'm a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That looks crazy. I think that the, the the burger itself, the patty, needs a little bit longer time on the grill. Though. <laughs> it needs to be a little longer. At least in that lighting right there. Yeah, I mean, that's I, some red. That what is the black burger? bread? What's the black bread? Well, because, you that's know. It's probably just dye from no, coloring. It's the Prince of, Prince of Darkness. Yeah. No, 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 no. I know, I know that. It's probably but... food coloring in the dough. Yeah. It's so food. there's not a bread that's actually black. No. no. You just make it black with food coloring. Yeah. Yeah. In the dough. Okay. They could make it green mm-hmm. if you like. Yeah, you. On, you like you a know, green burger, Bobo? You want on St. Patty's Day? Or on 420, you want a green burger, son? Dr. Green Thumb Burger. Oh, mm. check, it out. check it out. Check it out. <laughs> check it out now. And we got re- or we got Rig Rentals <laughs> up in here with a little reclaim art. And he's saying, happy Halloween and stay coffin. Okay. Yes. <laughs> We got Dino from Down Under over here. A little homemade bacon and egg McMuffin. Ooh. Oh. Is that right. chicken? Yep. Ooh, I'm down. Bring it. Nice. Yeah. That works. <clears throat> oh, oh, that is just bacon. Oh, that's bacon. Oh. Yo, so do you prefer the muffins to be toasted all the way or prefer like a little softness to it for the breakfast sandwich? In between. Correct. How about the fuck yeah. they usually do it? <laughs> however, however they give it to you. I don't even know. I just order it. So right. you, <laughs> it's usually in between. It yeah. ain't too and crispy and it ain't too like <laughs> Yeah. It's right in the middle. Pretty yeah. much. Those that's are, the only food item I'll order from McDonald's. Is the yeah. egg McMuffin. Yep. They're good. Those are yeah. good. Everything else. <laughs> McGriddle. And we got Marcos Luna up in here showing off some cars by the car show by his house the other day. Oh hell yeah. That's cool. Awesome. <coughs> okay. It's a little itty bitty ass seat, but <laughs> just a little one seater. Hmm. Tall guys got you know drive with their knees to their <laughs> chest on this car. <laughs> Unless it's modified for you know a taller guy, but it's a dope car. It probably gets around really quickly. Oh yeah, that's dope. Just got laid. Yep. Yeah, that's dope. <clears throat> 
Hell yeah. That's Kenji's right there. <laughs> Dude, I could see Kenji whipping that one right there. It's old school. What is that? Looks like a sidekick or something like that. I don't know what the hell. That is. Suzuki Samurai? <laughs> the something like that, man. I don't yeah. know what Those the things used to tip over hell like yeah, crazy, boy. <laughs> it sure did. I would imagine this thing would tip. It looks like it. There's just like a jacked up body. <laughs> yeah, that. don't take that yeah. corner too fast. <laughs> yeah. Hell. You just, nah, you're going right on the side. Rolling right <laughs> the fuck over. Shh. Pow. There you go. That's dope. Oh, that's, that's like a Merc. Style, dude. That's like an NQ 50s Merc. Yep. That's dope. It could have did without the flames yeah, of and course. it'd be one bad, solid, but that's bad that's paint dope. Job, dude. Dope body. Dude, yeah. dude, dude, I don't say it's a bad paint job. It. You just don't didn't need the pinstriping yeah. with the flames. You could have just made matte it black. one solid color. Like a matte black on that. No, dope. even the purple. Damn. If those flames weren't on there and it was just solid purple sprayed in that tone. Yeah, it would be dope. Yeah. Yeah. But black would matted black would be dope too. I love black car. Dope. Yeah. I definitely roll that thing right there. That shit is hard. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Shout out to Marcos Luna. Thanks, Marcos. And next up in here we got Luis Lamb. He's saying, sorry for the tray. It looks dirty, but can I get a joint rating? Oh. oh well, you know, <laughs> shit's going down. Listen, uh, I just want to say this before I even start. All right, he's already at the neck, but I have to tell you this: <laughs> don't be asking for a rating on a dirty ass tray, man. No fucking way. Come on. Okay, to the neck. Problem one: <laughs> the paper fold right there. You see that? That's not supposed to happen. And then you go up further along the neck on the bottom of the neck right there. Uh-huh. Another fold squeeze point. <laughs> then you go further and another squeeze point right here. Mm-hmm. Right there. Your line gets straighter, though. But not that straight. Yeah. Well. <sighs> um, man, it's not... I'm going to give it a four. It's not, con four. It's not conducive. No, you need to put more weed in there, one. That's why you got them little creases right there. Not um, conducive. The fold on the glass tip right there that you see, you'll get that down. You just got to tuck that in properly, and then your line should be straight. But you need more weed in that. You know what I'm saying? But that's not a bad job. You just need to roll more weed, and you'll get better. That four will turn to an eight. Next. Smoke. We got Thomas up in here saying the vinyl came in from the frame shop today. Thanks a bunch again for all you guys for the help. Boom, bang. Thank you for always supporting, man. Much love. Awesome. See, I like collectors like that. You know, they bring you Dope. stuff to sign, right. and then they'll <clears throat> do stuff like that and put yeah. it up in their house. They use it. That's yeah. what you sign it for. Yeah. Right? That's cool. Yeah. Well done. It's a whole different thing these days. I mean, you can tell if they ask for, if, even if it's personalized, right? If they say, can you make it out to my son or can you make it out to so-and-so? Yeah. That's way better, right? That's more. Yeah. Right on. Absolutely. We got STL Batman up in here saying, finally got that Tyson flower out in the Midwest. Nice. Nice. Shout out to them. At least they have a whole new approach. You know, Tyson 2.0. Yeah. They started out as Tyson Ranch. Yeah. And they realized, you know, they didn't have the right people running the farm. The flower wasn't coming out to their, you know, expecting. To, their customers weren't happy. So what they decided to do is keep the same brand and use people who have been doing it for a long time. Use their brand. They got the right team. Exactly. Good team. So shout out to, to Tyson 2.0. Yeah, because yeah, their flower is really good. It is. They're doing a good job, man. Shout out to them. Smoke. And let's see. We got Jose up in here saying MB here, Bick and Back, being Bool, <laughs> and Bally Blaze, Band Biss, my balls. <laughs> Damn. Just kidding. I don't bang. Much love and respect to the table. <laughs> you don't like that name, huh? That was a lot. <laughs> That was a like lot. Rick and Morty. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> He's got all the necessary things to elevate. There you do. Enjoy. Smoke. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Shout out to MB. Salute, MB. Last time Cal Callie called him, my balls. <laughs> oh, that was him? Oh, that's yep. right, MB. My balls. 
<laughs> Could have stood for anything. My balls is one of them. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Appears to be oh so. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we got Enrique up in here saying, got inspired by our local hash expert, Callie Blaze, to roll oh, this hash hole. Yes. There yeah. yeah. There you go. Hopefully you rolled it well. Smoke. There it is. Oh, all right. All right. He did. Looks Dick like he did good. He did. There is business. My man. That's pretty good. He had a little squeeze right there, but look. It's okay. He enjoyed it. Exactly. Good shit, man. Well done. It's a good one. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Not no. bad at all, bro. You're trying to get high out here. Mine looks great. <laughs> I get them rolled. Just so you know, the ones you buy from my company yeah. professionally rolled, the ones I roll look worse than that. <laughs> just went, I roll like shit. They're no fessional. Exactly. No fessional. <laughs> so you did a good job. Man. Fessional. Yep. <laughs> exactly. They're just fessional. They're just fessional. <laughs> Talk about them. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. And we got Roddy Rod up in here saying Bolton's grandpa got that dog in him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, He's out for the woo. Shit. <laughs> he said he got that dog in him. <laughs> I'll pat your yeah. bum. I'll pat your bum. I'll pat your bum. Yeah, oh. baby. Put your hands yeah. in the air. He's living his best he's, life. So let me pat that bum again. Yeah. Bring it. <laughs> he's living oh, his life. His wife sees that boy. It's over. His wife died 12 years ago. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh, really? That's, that's probably why he's celebrating. That's, that's he's dark. Hell yeah. Just saying, man. That's mad. He's <laughs> out, B. <laughs> oh, bloody. He went home and had a night. <laughs> oh, my God. He was taking it back. <laughs> he, he went right from the was. funeral to here. Aww. I mean, yeah, he could die here. happy after that. Look at that. He could die happy. So what? He's throwing, <laughs> he's throwing gang yeah. signs. Yeah, they're gang banging up there, man. <laughs> Damn. When do you think was the last time he was up, even up on stage like that at the club? That's you know probably I mean? his first time. If ever. Yeah. Maybe the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> the <laughs> Roaring Twenties. Ah! <laughs> All right. I see what you did there. Come on, man. And we got Joe up in here saying, got my first glass tip three weeks ago. Smoking on some Kush. That's pretty fucking good. It man. is, man. That's cool. Look at how straight that is. is. Man, he didn't even ask for a rating. Good. That's Looks well good. Well done. Yep. That's a. Mm mm mm. He Excellent. rolled the shorty though. Yeah. Yep. That's a regular. But that'll work. We got Steven up in here saying congratulations to Be Real and the crew. Happy three year anniversary to Dr. Green Thumbs L.A. Finally got my Funko signed and got myself a goodie bag. Word on my. The three Funkos. Tree yeah. piece. Tree. That's the old days. No more tree pieces. One, two, tree. Oh. He's actually a collector. And he bought stuff at the store. Yeah. Awesome. See, that's, that's, that's how awesome. you do it. That's how you do it. That's, that's well how you done. do it. That's how you do it. That's cool. Next. We got a little Snoop up in here saying, I had a chance to go to Dr. Greentham's dispensary for the first time and finally got some good flavors. Hell yeah. Right oh, on. nice. Nice. All good choices. Ooh. Very good choices, man. Ooh, that match 11. Shout out to little Snoop. Yeah. Always Ooh. up in the Discord. Big time. That Hindu funk. Little Snoop, what up? Snoopaloo. <laughs> Your friend. With this funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Steve Hancock up in here saying, this is some marshmallow OG that 710 Labs has graced us with down here in Florida. Word. Actually, good strain. Yes. I like marshmallow OG. Good flavor. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. We'd all roll it. Florida starting to get some good weed now or what? Depends yeah. Depends where you're at. But yeah. Wow. Depends where you're at for sure. We got Anywhere got good weed if you well, got a connection. Yeah. Well, there was always the Miami, the Miami haze, right? Always. Yes. Even in New York, we used to get a lot of it from Miami. Yep. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Ugly well, but good. And we got Bradley up in here giving <laughs> us a little boof alert. Uh oh. Doctor Greenweed. Ah! Oh yeah, I've seen those. Ah! <laughs> Real? Oh yeah, I've seen those. <laughs> yeah, for for a costume yep. for Doctor Greenweed. Like, Hello. how is that a costume? <laughs> Hello, my name is Doctor Greenweed. 
changing my name to Dr. Greenweed now. What the hell is that? Look at that. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Dad. What are you doing? Stop fucking You get alone. includes jacket and RX notepad. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's awesome. And you just write prescription. There you go. Yeah. And a weed leaf. Dr. Douchebag. <laughs> Seriously, where's that bullshit? Damn. <laughs> And we get, get, yeah, go ahead. And we got me. <laughs> I was gonna say we got me get up in here saying she finally started her first weed grow. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Good for you, Megan. It's a good hobby. Still got a couple weeks to go. Smoke. Look at that. Yeah. Look Still at that. starting to fill in. Yep. Excellent. Shout out to Megan. Mm. Ooh, Megan. Yeah, it's nice. Week four or something like that. We got Chief Token up up in here saying, Ayo, B. Yeah. I want to work for THC, Temperature Humidity Cannabis. Cool. He's also watching us on the show. Word up. Oh, awesome. yeah. Kill her. We got Haas up in here saying, Working on some more drawn pieces for you guys. Dope. Word. Here's Hell. a black and white picture I did of my friend. Dope. Awesome. Keep putting in that work. Yep. We got Red Boy the Mexican up in here saying, Ayo, Beak in the crew, congrats on the 600th episode. Here's a photo of Snacks. Chilling. He's getting uh -huh. Looking him up. He's just hanging out. Damn. He's looking been getting more primal, man. He's looking for a squirrel. <laughs> He's out there. He's pulling out innards and stuff. You see him? He like spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> He's in these streets. All right. Do we need to give him an intervention? <laughs> he's look. He's wearing your yeah, shirt. Yeah, he's wearing, up. He's wearing your shirt. He's wearing your shirt. He's always in support of you. Look yeah. at that. Oh, That's good, so man. Look. That's good. Man. Rocking his pop shirt. You know. I miss that guy. He's gonna come down here. <laughs> yeah, bring him. Gotta get down. him his little perch over here, son. <laughs> <laughs> And we got McLovin up in here saying, had a great time at Dr. Green Thumbs LA three year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Word. Salute. My man came through. He's saying, shout it to Kenji. Kenji hooked him up with an insane OG bag. Yes. And also yes, saying, sir. shout it to Cali Blaze. Yeah, he came through, bought a hash McLovin. Bowl from rosin. Yes, sir. Yeah, he supports. Big yes. time. McLovin. Sure. He's saying he met B Real for the fourth time and got his Funko signed. That's right. Dope. Much respect. Salute. Awesome. And he's trying to collect all the insane flavors. He's doing a good job so far. Yeah, he's on. He's. Yeah. No doubt. And we got some main girl up in here saying, just bought the Cypress Hill documentary, and now I have it in my personal collection. Nice. Dope. You bought it. You bought it. Yeah. Nice. It's a great documentary. Thanks. Is it out physically? Like on DVD? I don't think it's on DVD. Mm. And I was going to say, that seems to be it so far. And that seems to be it. We want to thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contests at gmail.com. And we will run them like you've seen these ones today if you're new to this. All right. Um, if you haven't smashed a like yet, make sure you do that now. And if you're not subscribing yet, subscribe right now and click the all notification bell so you get down with all the content we'd be dropping this is the dr green thumb show live monday through friday 2 p.m pacific standard time 5 eastern all right and uh we welcome all y'all that uh maybe are just tuning in make sure you share this out too uh we're here with c minus what up my man d rod up in here what up what up that's right Eric, Big Drum, Bobo. What the deal, E? <laughs> and Callie Blaith. <laughs> <laughs> you shot a bird, man. I love shot it. a bird, bro. You shot a bird, bro. What the hell? Dude, you don't know if he's endangered? <laughs> yeah, that part. <laughs> Way to go. He's just shooting. You just realize he does shooting, no particular <laughs> yeah, aim or whatever. Just he's shooting. Like, he shot like, my yeah, cousin. Yeah. He's like, you shot my cousin. Bye. That's my relative, man. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I don't know how you're going to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> you just been shooting. It's the shooting all wild and shit. No. <laughs> God like, damn it. Not giving a fuck. <coughs> not yeah. one. Yeah. And I got this sent in from Pedro. We got a little uh, recap of the Dr. Green Thumb three-year anniversary. Run it. Just be real, <laughs> a.k.a. Dr. Green Thumb. We're here celebrating the third-year anniversary. Dr. Green Thumb's downtown L.A. You weren't here. You fucked up. Everybody that came up to celebrate with us. That should look busy. It was, man. All day. Like, yeah. all day busy. Mm-hmm. As it should. As it be. That's the downtown location. Uh, we usually put up the addresses to um, all the locations at the end of the show. So, uh, if you ain't knowing, we'll put them up after. So, um, you know, just be alert. Don't let it pass by you, man. Yeah, that was the psycho round mask you wanted me to sign right there. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Old school. Nice. Yeah, a lot of a lot of folks came through. It was good. A lot of flavors were uh taken up. So salute to everybody over that. All right, we're about to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all, you got a question, comment, shout out, suggestion. Now is the time. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. First one up the day, we got Roland Salazar saying, DJ Roland Stone sending a big happy birthday and much love to my wife, Claudia. Happy birthday, Claudia. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Claudia. And we got Barina up in here saying, hey, you guys. Hope everyone's good. Yeah. What up, Barina? <laughs> That was crazy the way you said that. Say it one more time. Hey, bro. you guys. That you ever seen the Goonies? Never. Never? Now, what oh, that's you, what well, it's wrong. Well, time out. Time out. Um, before the Goonies, the people that were doing that was the electric company. Remember that, Bobo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember that? I remember that. It was Re- I think it was Rita Moreno who who was the one screaming it, hey, right? Hey, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Morgan Goonies. Freeman was on there, too. Yep, Morgan really? Freeman. What was it, a show? Yeah, it was a public access, <coughs> access oh, wow. like the Sesame Street type yeah. of thing. Yeah, really? Yeah. It would come on, like, the electric after, company, yeah. after uh. Sesame Street or some, something yeah. like that. What was it, in the 70s? Or? Yeah, 70s, uh, 80s. The electric company. Yeah. That was one I did not know. Yeah, and the, the beginning of the show was that? with that scream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys. I think the writer from, the, yes, this is it. Bill right? Cosby. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby was in it, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think the writer of the Goonies probably referenced <laughs> that and used it in there. <coughs> yes, could be. I don't sloth. Know. A sloth. It would. That what would be assuming a lot. Yeah. All right. Next. And Barina's back up in here asking Bobo, "Did you ever get the Funko I left you?" Yes. Yes, I did. Yep. I right, thank you for that. And actually, I gifted that to my son. Awesome. So uh, he got it signed, and he he's a happy camper. So thank you. Salute. And we got Darren Cushman up in here saying, Bobo is looking nice in that gear, looking super green. That's yeah. Right. Crisp. You know, crisp. 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 It's got to be a little crisp. <laughs> I like your style, dude. Crisp. That'd be a rapper named Little Crisp. Little Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Better than some of the names out right now. I tell you. <laughs> and we got Chris up in here saying, ask D-Rod if he's fighting at 170 pounds. 
Yeah, for sure. This fight's at 170, 170 pounds. Last one was a catch weight, but this one, going back to my division. Dope. You feel more comfortable there? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm cool. I feel I feel lighter and more more fresh. Yeah, it's got to be tough going up or coming down when you're not, like, at your actual weight. Because, like, when you go up, if you feel heavier, it probably takes more out of you, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just carrying around more weight, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's crazy. And Chris is saying, D-Rod, you are a beast. Shout out to you. Thanks, thanks. You're looking out. You know, it's all hard work. So we got Raider up in here saying respect to be real, going to a funeral, and then showing up to your store. Big respect to the brother. Thanks, bro. Word. And we got Huggy Farms up in here saying so excited for Cypress Hill to come in back in Boston for the Haunted Hill show. It's going to be Liddy Titty. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that before, but all right. Liddy Titty. Liddy awesome. Titty. All right. I'll take that. Let's go. And we got L the Punisher up in here saying, be real, you are a legend. I'm going to smoke this one just for you. Well, thank you. I'll smoke this one with you. How about that? And we got Barina back up in the super chat saying, yo, B, can I get two Funko signed, please? Psycho Les is hanging on to them for me unless he sold them, and we'll be having <laughs> yeah, words. That's, that's, that's different. Yeah, of course, I got you. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I got some of these Funkos, B. Hmm. Yeah, I got you. No problem. And we got Hesh right up in here saying, LOL, if skating under the influence was a thing, I would be a million times offended. It probably is a thing. You just sure. never got caught. There you go. <laughs> right. Look so. it up. It probably is actually a thing. Oh, I'm yeah. saying. Oh, in Long Beach, I see everybody leaving the bar and they hop on those little scooter things. Oh, I've drunk been, people get, driving those scooters you everywhere. Catch one, you could catch one <laughs> right? with that, too. Right? You got to. Yeah. I'm just assuming, but... No, yeah, you, I think so. They'll right? give you a if you can get it from if you get it off a horse. Well, exactly. <laughs> you know, if you can get it off a bike, yep. a horse, anything where you're riding on wheels and you're getting in traffic, Word. you're getting a DUI. Hmm, horse. So, so walking under the the influence is like just like public intoxication, right? Basically. Right, right, yep, right. You don't have to They'll put you it. in a drunk tank. Yeah, that's it. And we got Jacob up in here asking the table if you're sick, do you still smoke? <laughs> Depends on what you're sick from. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Yeah, if you got like a lung infection or something, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Right. Yeah. But if you're just like sick from something else, hell yeah. I smoke to ease the pain and stay in bed, stay comfortable. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Smoke if you can, for sure. And we got DJ Chilzo up in here saying Gary Coleman is probably the ghost in the studio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. No. Because if he was, he'd be doing fuck shit. Word. Yeah. He like the old little man. Yeah. Our ghost is cool. <laughs> yeah, he ain't around here. <laughs> Bobo would exercise him to Whoa. work out. Remember? <laughs> Remember when Aton was getting kicked in the shins by the spirit? Yeah, up upstairs, yeah. Yeah. He thought it was me. I'm like, I'm way the hell over here, man. <laughs> He's getting kicked. Did, did he get scared? Nervous? Yeah, he, he did. tripped out. He did trip out. And we got Hala up in here saying, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Right. Exactly. Sugar free. Always. And we got Make a Duty up in here saying, yo, B, the other day you were talking about trick or treating with your kid. Did you have to disguise yourself going out? Mm, no, I didn't. Make a duty. And we I, got, or yeah. what were you going to say? No, nothing. <laughs> And we got Crazy Main up in here saying, C-minus, take two dabs today. Saying, Team Icon, party one, two, three. <laughs> uh, you need some dabs? Is that what they're saying? Bring it. Did they pay? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because dabs are expensive. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that means, uh, did they pay? Did they? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the full for he two. Went, he went that sophisticated with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Have they paid? Have they paid? <laughs> Have they paid? <laughs> Have they paid? <laughs> That's very Johnny Rottenish. <laughs> All right, next. And we got Brooke P up in here saying Bobo is so much funnier when he's high. Oh. Laughing my ass off. <laughs> he's always high. Damn. Even when he's not. It is totally. Yeah, you know. I mean, you mean when I smoke, you think, you know. You think I'm funny to you? <laughs> <laughs> what am I, a comedian? Yeah, a clown? Yeah. Here to amuse you? Clown, you know. 
Do this shit for free or what? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? What the fuck? What's wrong, What's wrong Bobo? <laughs> are, you, are you laughing now? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, no. Thank you. Dude? Thank you. <laughs> party every day, man. Yeah. I like to party. We got Ray up in here saying shout out all the way from <coughs> Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh. Uh-huh. You <laughs> betcha. Does that make you feel homesick? I uh, know. Uh, a little bit. Not, no, not during this time. I guess it's starting to get cold over there. So not really. I'm chilling. Billing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right up, <Billin>. Boltonizer. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Brina up in here saying, I'll get another one out for you, Bobo. Also, funny you mentioned Rita Marino. She's also in that movie, I Like It Like That. She's in a lot of movies, man. Yeah. Marino. Like it's Moreno. Like- Moreno. Moreno. She says Moreno. Marino. <laughs> Marino. <laughs> Rita Marino. <laughs> Rita. Rita. Marino. 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 <laughs> I think she was the first Latina to ever win an Oscar or something like that. I think, I think that's her. Well, one yeah. of her well, names to fame. Triple yeah, I think it was West Side Story or something. Yep. Look at awesome. it. Bolton was going to say, no, it was West Side Connection. <laughs> <laughs> She's dope. Yeah. Salute. And we got Marbell up in here saying, have Bolton rap. Trace Eckies at the Green Thumb store. Trace Eckies? <laughs> what did you say? Trace Eckies. No, no. First time he said it was like Trace Eckies or something like that. Trace Eckies. <laughs> <Like, laughs> he did. Trace Eckies? Yeah. Yes. He said something terrible. He's, I've heard him say it. Something Trace terrible. Trace like Something that. terrible. Something terrible like street-itis, I'm telling you. <laughs> no, you said it. You did. It was Trace Eckies or street-itis. Street-itis. Yeah. street-itis is one of the best. <laughs> one of the best because people are like, what the fuck you just say, man? Street-itis. Street-itis. Oh, Saint-itis. There street-itis. was another new... <laughs> Saint Street-itis. Street-itis is still one of the My best. My mom gives me shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As she the should. World sh- yeah, of course. He didn't know it was Saint-ides yeah. and he called it Drink. street-itis. <laughs> somebody like, where is this somebody wrote it in. Oh. You could have did a lot better there, Bolton. <laughs> and he was reading it out. He was like, somebody says street-itis. We like, street-itis? What the fuck? <laughs> And then we realized we're saying I was like, man, this kid. <laughs> oh, and he had people looking that up, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The street he had people looking at us, man, what brand is that? <laughs> Not that my hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I poured my down way. some street itis and. Uh, Sounded yeah. ghetto as fuck, too. Like, damn, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> street itis. Next. And shout out to Paige Rowe for sending in a donation. Thank you. Thank you, Whatever, bro. Word up. And Utah Hawk up in here saying, if it makes you feel any better, I got kicked out of the USC versus Utah game on Saturday from the cops. Why? Saying someone reported him being way too drunk. He looked oh, like it. Right. You could tell Utah Hawk is too drunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just by looking at him. Yeah. Oh, guilty as you know, charged. He, you may get guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. <laughs> he, you get a little lit. <laughs> Lit. Uh, there might have been some methamphetamines involved. I love you, Hawk, but oh, yeah. man. damn. That's nice, cool. I, I love him, man. <laughs> oh, said, there was some other they know the dope. <laughs> nope. Down with dope. They know the dope. You know the, the drugs. drugs. You don't I'll want do no drugs. part of this shit. <laughs> I think I want to try me some of that. <laughs> 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 That's, Dewey. That's cool. well, it's a lot. Dewey. Fucking this guy before the show. He's like, hey, I got an idea for a new, <laughs> new skew for your... For your. Mikhail, what is he? he was like, well, right now you have a hash hole going. He's like, you know, in this economy, what about if you take the hash out and you like, you roll up some meth and you make a <laughs> meth hole? <laughs> yeah. I said, your return customers will be very strong. But yeah, man. Oh <laughs> fucking God. meth hole. Whole new audience. <laughs> meth hole. <laughs> Fuck, <Sorry>. man. <laughs> Puddle down. Interesting wow. concept. Oh, I man. mean, I said, yeah, your, I mean, the your key, repeat business would be good. You, you do want repeat customers. <laughs> yep. You do. And that yeah. would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Bad for the brand, though. I yes, tell you for that. sure. Not a good look for the brand. I, I mean, it's about taking risks, though, right? <laughs> Bad not that risk. You can guarantee we'll sink it's, your yeah, brand. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Maybe not have Just, him you know, on the, your on brand. the, What's the board of uh, supervisors on your shit. Correct. Right Dude. 
You will not be on the board. No. <laughs> You're pre-fired. You're pre-fired. <laughs> I'm just saying, fired guys. Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Next. We got Jennifer up in here asking, can we get a moment of ohms? Oh. Oh, we haven't had that in a minute. Yeah. All right. So it's like a meditation thing. It, you'll, you'll probably recognize it when, when you hear it. All right. You ready? Four, yeah, right? Ready? Yeah. You ready over here? Ready's four, right? Yeah, four. Hey, chill out, man. Oh. So much better, man. <laughs> wow, those actually so feel good. Someone was saying, uh, 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 so we could do the Master P version. How <laughs> 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 about just four cons? <laughs> 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 so that's, that's another one. Yeah, that's another a release one. of another sort. All right. Another form. <laughs> Next. And we got Pedro back <coughs> up in here saying, can we get UFC fighter Cheeto Vera on the show? Yeah. Flag him. Bring it. Tag him. Flag him. Let him know. Flag him. <laughs> Wave him. Flag him. him. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just Wave him. <laughs> <laughs> the flag flag, 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 flag him. him. Flag his post. <laughs> No, don't flag him. Wave him. <laughs> no, don't flag that's him. A that's a violation. I don't know. So flag him, bro. Yeah. Man, you got to be careful. No with flag. Your no flag. So you'll go ahead and flag him. <laughs> yeah, take Get all fucked up. Take his down. Like, hey, man, who is that guy on your show that told people to flag, flag me? Flag me, bro. Me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's ruthless. Oh, shit. Flag him. Uh, flag him. Thumbs down. <laughs> Get him off here. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Get him out of here. That would be harsh. <laughs> All right, next. And we got SMB. Shout out to him for subscribing on Twitch for 17 months. And he's saying, staying stoned and entertained for 17 months. Thanks to the Dr. Green Thumb show. Well, thank you very much, yeah. man. Yeah. Thank, thank you for you. being with us. Yes. Hell yeah. And we got Megan up in here saying, could I have a moment of cuffs? Callie Blaze inspired. I think she means cunts. Oh. I think it, her phone auto corrected you- her there. Oh. Yeah, her phone definitely corrected her there. See what you started? Yes, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, look at you. It was great. It, it took cuffs. two seconds. Now look what you made her do. It yes. cuffs. No, no, no cuffs. Let's do cunts. It's way Four better of than them? cuffs. Six, no, as many as you or want. Or a moment, just as like. Oh. Or is it a moment of uh, cunts, like a moment of chaos? No. Or, or like, like a moment of own. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. I say we go with chaotic cunts. It says a moment of cunts. Chaotic. Okay, that sounds it like... It does say mo. Wouldn't that be moments? So we just different cunts? Chaotic cunts. Well, you call, Captain. It's your show. Oh, what, what kind of cunts are we going with you? Oh, my God. You, you call the cunt. I don't know. So cunt. All right, let's go chaotic. Three, two, one. Cunt. 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 Cut it. Cunt. 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 Cunt it out. Cunt. Cunt it. <laughs> All right. See? That went well. I got well. that. That, was, that, was good. that went well. That was good. That was Thank good. you, Megan. That's horrible. We're going to get flagged. Really got it. We're going to get flagged. All right. My heavy, my heavy metal, my heavy metal <laughs> cunt didn't work. Yeah. I tried to. Uh, you got, I was you wondering what the fuck that was. I said, he got oh. stuck. Oh. <laughs> he got stuck in the halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I should have did the high, though. <laughs> Paul Stanley saying. All right, well, you know, we're done. Next time. <laughs> next well, you know. no, no next time. Don't do that again. <laughs> yeah. next. And that seems to be it so far. Oh, well, thank God for that. One and done. <laughs> <laughs> too many cunts. There's too many. Not cunts. enough time. Oh, oh man. <laughs> too many cunts. <laughs> Where have it. we gone today? I can't even do it. Yeah. yeah, stop it. Stop you fucking know. around. <laughs> this, this is, <laughs> look, we know <laughs> that during the show, you guys uh, end up sending more super chats. So, you know, we'll get to those when they come. But thank you very much for the ones that you've sent. Hmm. Uh, yeah. What is this? Elon Musk sells a million dollars of 
burnt hair fragrance at a hundred dollars a bottle. That's amazing. For a hundred million dollars. Who would buy burnt hair as a fragrance? Um someone who's maybe lost a goddamn mind. I don't know. Seriously. I mean, and, he's got, <laughs> and he's got a lot of followers that have lost a goddamn mind. You have to. The smell of burnt hair is like that's gotta be like a prank smell. It's like yes. fart spray. Yeah, why? Seriously, that's like fart spray. Burnt hair is an it smells awful pretty, spray. Smells pretty bad. Awful. Look, there you go. Burnt hair. <laughs> I hope maybe to God it's just, it just yeah. Maybe it's just, just called the name. that. I hope to God. I hope to God it don't smell like fucking burnt hair. What did it what say? What do you mean? Is there a description? Can you scroll down? There isn't one. Of so course not. That's, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Burnt yeah. hair. Mm. Hello. That's a horrible. Mm. That's a horrible name. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Dude. Made a hundred mil. Right? A hundred million. <laughs> just wow. You know. What kind maybe it's cunt hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh is it worse? God. Did it smell fishy when wow. it burns? Oh. <laughs> just let it go. Burn fish. Next one. Just let it go. <laughs> the roses. Come on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next. <Bored>. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Next. <laughs> hey. So last week there was a bunch of 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 uh, meth bus stories. Remember that? Oh yeah. So uh, this week another one. More than 250 pounds of meth found in San Bernardino. Ugh. Estimated $800,000. Wow. Damn. Um, deal. Wow. Right next to Riverside. San Bernardino will be lit. This is Look at uh, that. They're lit over That's there. a party. There's, there's, <laughs> you ain't lying. That is a party. Hey, imagine the, ta- the, the, the bags you take home. Another, another pissed off uh, boss. Ooh. Steamed right now over there. <sighs> So that when shit. when something like that is in transit, it's already been paid for, right? Depends. Or is it every situation? Or is it paid for maybe. like every EOD? Every situation's different, man. Every maybe. situation's probably different, like you said. Yep. True. Some get it on credit. Ooh. Some paid for it. Some up yeah. front. Ooh. Some so. people buy bulk and get it cheap because they paid for it up front, so they lost it already. Ooh. Other people, bosses, just send over loads and get paid as it sells. So someone get punished. Yeah, that's not Someone's cool. fucked, long story. Yeah, long story short. But that's crazy. You've been hearing about these meth busts like all the last few weeks. They're like cracking it down. Yeah, man. And the police got a tip because it says officers recently pulled over a person they believed was transporting large quantities of narcotics. Oops. <sighs> a tip. And he gave up everything. <laughs> and he was like, all right, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you whatever you want. Sure. Just. Yo. His name is Walter White. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a partner named Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> it was all going to Cali Blaze's Halloween. Oh, yeah. oh damn. Yeah, those uh, meth holes you were talking about. There you go. Yeah. With the meth holes. Yeah. Meth holes. <laughs> You'll be up. <laughs> and high. Wow. Oh, what man. a party that would be. Meth hole. Ooh. One I don't oh, want an invitation to. Nah. No. It's never ending. No, oh, rescind good. that. Part. And then, like, I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, fuck that. It wouldn't make you hungry, would it? No. Meth hole? <laughs> oh, it would. It. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I think the meth's going to beat the weed in that one. <laughs> I think yeah. meth's stronger than the weed in that one. Be hungry for more meth. <laughs> you don't stand <laughs> yeah, a, you don't, you don't stand a chance there. Right. <laughs> Did we get two more? I we got I Barina in here right now saying, spent the week in Montreal working on my GPS. Working, and she's saying, my GPS French street names remind me of Bolton trying to read Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a challenge. Oh, we heat lately with English, too. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Damn. English is terrible. What's, the, what's going on there? Oh, Phil. We got Marbelle up in here. He's so. saying, I will throw Bolton in the trash in honor for Bobo. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Bolton. That was hilarious. <laughs> I don't even have anything to say back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he got you, man. Got you. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he got you. Oh, really. so oh. deep. Oh, oh yes. In honor. Homage. It Thank is. you very much there, it tri- Ruthless. Well Marbell. In tribute to Eric in Bobo, tribute. I will now throw Bolton in the trash. Excellent. Oh, damn. <laughs> And we, got, we got Barina up in here saying, listen to Cypress Hill the whole five and a half hour drive home. It's a long drive. Damn. Oh. 
We got enough music for that. For a five oh, hour drive. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, well, there's what, nine albums? Ten? Well, yeah, we got enough. Yeah, there's enough. It's can you endure it? <laughs> yeah, plus if you take any, you know, collabs and stuff like that too. If you do that sort yeah. of thing, yeah. No. Damn, my, anybody else's allergies been fucked up lately, like bad? No? Yeah. No, no yeah. just you and you alone. <laughs> it's <been> terrible. <laughs> it's you and only you. It's I'm you and only you. Dying, man. Last few times I've seen you, you've been having them nasal drips. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Seriously, it's so bad. The pressure behind your eyes get like terrible. Anything mm -hmm. sinus and is the worst. I use that Navage yeah. thing too, and it does help, but it's like by the end of the day, it's like just throbbing again. You got to use it works. twice. Yeah, probably. Day and night. Miserable. You want to do the saline thing? Yeah, and the menthol packet one, that thing works good too, but it's just, just miserable. And then when I was younger, I had no allergies. And it gets worse and worse every year. Yeah. It's every year it gets worse. It's fucked. This craziest thing is that the human body can develop an allergy to anything at yeah. any given time. That's Yeah, with no rhyme or reason. Nope. Either. Yeah, I, I saw a special on it, too. It's your body just decides, hey, by the way, we're done with this. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally. I'm this like, shit Yo, you what like? The fuck? I don't yeah. like it no more. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you mean. No it, reason. It. We're done. I'm like, no. Oh, it's the fun <laughs> yep. Out. That works. This, yeah. this station is non-operational. And oddly enough, some shit you didn't like, you would now like. Mm. like True. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Somehow yeah. your mind got over it, and you're like, cool. Except for liver, that'll be something I'll never that fuck That can go with. fuck itself for life. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you on that Yeah. One. Fuck liver and the mother. But there are things that I wouldn't <laughs> eat as a kid, oh. and like I Don't now <laughs> I now have it not, like no problem. There is all right. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, this like onions, I, I hated them as a kid, and spinach, hated them. Tomatoes, your oh, little you know what? Yeah. tomato problem. <laughs> yeah. I got over it somewhere in life, and like I can have any of it, just not the liver. Hey, you know what? Or duck. I don't you know what the, the duck. duck. <laughs> oh, duck one. <laughs> I'll say I agree with you. I definitely used to, as a kid, like every kid, didn't like vegetables so much. And now I'm totally cool with vegetables and all the things that they awesome. do. And liver and some onions is pretty good. Oh, no. What? what? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I don't even eats, like the I way you said that. First of all, that's a lie. <laughs> My daddy said shit. First, I, I don't like I liver. and <laughs> Second, I, I don't like the way you said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes you. <laughs> oh, said that. No one believes you. Man. He does like it. There's yeah. no shit. He does. I just don't Definitely. like the way he said it. <laughs> Chicken livers is pretty good. Gizzards. Uh, those are all right. I would gizzards. take those. Those are small little chicken hot. <laughs> <laughs> if they make them right, they're okay. But yeah. oh, a liver, liver, nah. Nah. Mm -mm. There's that smell. No, you don't have you like have to watch who cooks the liver because no, no. I don't care who cooks. Goddamn liver. <laughs> My mother that. cooked liver, rest uh, in peace. Ugh. No. Shit is nasty. She tried yeah. to sabotage me with it one day. <laughs> put it in a burrito and put all the sauce that you would have on like some regular beef. Damn, a liver, a liver, liver burrito? Yeah, texture. I took one bite. I was, you felt that texture. Oh, you knew what the fuck she did. I felt betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Violated. <laughs> was a yeah. Complete violation. Yeah. She got me. 100. I took a big bite too. I was chewing it. And I was like, this is a... Uh, he got me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Liver and some yeah. onions Ugh. and some rice. Because cause, cause <laughs> as kids, you, you know, we're you taught this, you have to have this. This is good for you. You know, you eat liver and this and that. <laughs> Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've only had it once in my life. Yeah, yeah that's all you need is that one. one time say, fuck God. you, I'm good. done. Yeah. yeah. I'm good with that. I was a kid. haven't had it ever since. Yeah, yeah. no. <clears throat> that's like the last thing. My mom I would ever... do that to me with, like, juices. Like carrot juice, like straight, like made uh, carrot juice or uh, watercress juice or That's celery different. juice, things like that. I could not do that. <laughs> that That's, di gross. That's so, different, uh, man. Yeah, that <laughs> I could not do that. Dude. Come on, but you can liver, eat yeah, liver and, and onions. Liver and carrot juice are a little oh! different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carrot juice ain't so bad. Right. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. The liver. So liver. Yeah, liver. liver Check out, uh, his name is Liver King on. Yeah, on that guy. Disgusting. Do you, do you get, hold up. Do you get excited when you when you see liver and onions? 
Are you one of those guys? No, no, oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like. Only that. when your mother makes I'm, it. My mom makes it. You can't. You don't. Because I've or, never or, seen or, you or had my, it anywhere. Or, or I make it. Or you make it. Really? You make it. Bring it. Wow. You make it. Now I really don't like how you said it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> but I'll accept it. <laughs> oh, last time I made some like I made some chicken livers. That Don't you good. dare bring mm. none of that shit down. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah, you, you might like it. You know, you might like it. Chicken livers, okay. Ugh. The other no, <laughs> no liver, yeah. no. no liver. I'm not afraid of the chicken liver, man. Yeah, I guess it's a cool. In the Fogo in um in Brazil they serve that. They don't they don't serve that here. You went when you were there last time, I yeah. take it. Yeah. But they always have that. I think that they still serve it in uh Roscoe's. You go to you can order at Roscoe's chicken and waffles, like a thing of gizzards or giblets, I'm sure. hearts, livers. You order all that. I can look tell at, by the look on your face. Yeah. Ah, look at that smile. Yeah. Look at that smile, both of them. Yeah. He's about that life. Oh, yeah. shit, dude. Hey, man. <laughs> I got a couple more super chats. Here, <coughs> All right, knock them down. We got Javi G up in here saying, This is my second super chat, and I just wanted prayers for my mother. Oh. Prayers to her. Yeah, prayers to her. You know, positive vibes going out to your mom and your family, yes. and uh, strength and all that from us to y'all. Yes. yes. And we got Derek up in here saying, My wife has a soap, and the sense name is Monkey Farts. I hope you don't let her put it on. Yeah. Wow. Beg your wife, you put that on, you better oh. sleep in the other fucking room. <laughs> Come in here smelling like it, monkey it, fodder. It could be not yeah. the same as the, the the name, though. It might. Is this a cologne or, or a body lotion? Soap. It's a soap. Oh, a soap. That's just it's it's a crazy worse. name to have for <laughs> a soap. That's got kind of worse. But we'll have Derek send it to you for bathing with Bobo. Bathing with Bobo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> soap. Settle down. AKA soak and tote. Yeah, bathing. Now, who's bathing over there? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the Boltonizer up there. Mm. Hey, we want to thank everybody for getting down with us today on the Dr. Green Thumb Show. We appreciate you all. If you want to check this on the replay, Apple Music, and Spotify under the Dr. Green Thumb Podcast. But right here, right here, it's live, so it's the show. And uh, we want to thank D Rod for coming through. And sitting in with us once again. Uh, remember, you got to fight November 5th, right? Yep, November 5th. Word up. Oh, yeah, dog. Thanks for having me on the show, dog. I love, I love coming, hanging out with you guys. And shit. You guys oh, yeah. are funny as fuck. <laughs> Word up, man. Hey, you got any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shit. Shout out to uh, the homie Shadow Tradecraft. Yeah. Um, shit. That's it right now. Oh, the homie, the CBD homies, uh, Natural Effects and shit. That's what's up? That's what's up, man. Yeah. Good luck on that fight coming up, man. We're going to be, you know, cheering for you over here on this side. Hell yeah, dog. Much appreciated. Word up. C minus. Uh, shout out to everyone here at the table. Shout out to D Rod. Thanks for coming and hanging with us on the show. Uh, shout out to Eric Bo Bizzle for Shizzle. Uh, now I can I don't forget when you're here, you know what I mean? Right so, here. So that's tight. It's right there, right you're there, eh? Right here. <laughs> Cali Blaze B, yeah. the Treehouse Crew, Dom, Bra Bra, and of course Colton. Uh, Aton and Dro and everyone that watches us here uh, Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Uh, Dr. Green Thumb Show. And uh, tomorrow morning to Tuesdays, 9 a.m. on my Twitch channel. And I'll see you guys there. Uh, Treehouse Crew. Shout out to Ray Morning Chat Films. Shout out to The Dominator. Also 30% off Dr. Green Thumb's LAX. And shout out to everyone that made it to the three-year anniversary. It was cool talking to some people. Word. Kelly Blaze or Eric Bobo. All right, catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo, on IG at Eric underscore Bobo, and also on Discord on Bobo's Corner. Uh, big ups to all the Team Icon subscribers out there. And uh, me and Snacks, we thank y'all for y'all support. Cali Bliss. Shout out D-Rod, thanks for coming through. Everybody here at the table, my fiance, everybody who works for the company, supports our brand, everybody who came down to Dr. Green Thumb's uh, three year anniversary. Good to hang with everybody on Saturday. Um, everybody who came down to party on Pine for Catalyst. Um, everybody's been buying the hash holes and supporting us overall. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys on Wednesday. Peace. Word up.
Thank you very much to everybody. Once again, man, stay with love and positivity. No negativity, no boof. You know what it is. Live with that. We'll see you tomorrow.